And we will go ahead and get started. I um, want to welcome everybody to this call. We decided to open it up to the Upline crew because Laura is just amazing. So everybody loves you, lady, and we're excited you are here. Um, let me go ahead and just open us up. Our team typically opens with a prayer, and so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Lord, I thank you so much for having Laura here with us tonight. I thank you for every word that she's going to speak, and I pray that for each of us tonight, it would be what our hearts need to hear, um, whether it be for our business application, for our personal health journey application, or just for life, Lord. I pray that you would um, help us to all leave here tonight from this meeting with something to take away and to apply and to um, just use to better our lives. I lift this up to you, Lord. I pray you bless this meeting and um, be with us all this whole time. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, on to announcements. Got a few this week. Um, two more days. We have two days left. Two more days for Team Cup Month. There is still plenty of time. We have a night and two more full days. Um, just a reminder, what you can earn individually, SC5 to SC10, if you hit that yourself, you're earning one of those branded picnic blankets. Pretty awesome. Um, if you hit SC5 to 10 as a whole team, we have the coach sweatshirts that we're earning. So if you are on a team, keep pushing. It doesn't matter that we have two days left in the month. A lot can happen in two days, so keep working hard. All Access Pass Challenge Pack. They shared on National Wake Up Call a few weeks ago that it's going through September and it may possibly expand beyond that. So keep using that to your advantage. It is seriously like the best deal ever because it's $13 a month for a whole entire year. Everything, that's just incredible. So keep using that. Um, make sure that you share that with everybody that you talk to. 10 for 10 promo, sell 10 challenge packs in August. So two more days left, you can still get this. If you sell 10 challenge packs in August, you are earning 10 elite points, which is an incredible steal for this month. So make sure you're taking advantage of that opportunity. Next up, a week of hard labor. Labor Day is a week from Monday. So we will be kicking off a week of hard labor on September 5th, okay? And the way that that's going to work, if you haven't checked it out yet, it's a day-by-day -day workout release. He's going to be focusing on one specific part of your body and basically killing us for that one-day workout. So <laughs> something to look forward to, right? Um, and it's going to be day-by-day. Uh, day. So on the first day, you'll only see that first workout. The next day, you'll see the next workout, and so on and so forth. So um, a great free group opportunity for people that are coming in that first week of September, getting past Labor Day. You know that weekend's going to be crazy for a lot of people, so it's a good way to kind of get some more free clients in there and get them in, plugged into a free group. Super Saturday, the next one is coming up on September 23rd, so make sure you have that on your calendar. Um, I know for a lot of our team, Kansas City is where they're going. I will be helping host in Wichita. Um, if you are new and you don't know about this, you need to get to one of these Super Saturdays. Um, if you don't know how to look at the calendar on the Team Beachbody website, or not the calendar, the map, there's a map that tells all of the different events that are gonna be happening across the whole entire US. Um, look on there, or if you don't know how to find one near you, ask your upline or somebody in your upline um, to help you find one near you because getting to these live events is so important. Um, the atmosphere at these events is huge and helps just kind of keep that fire sparked within you. So make sure that you have plans to get to a Super Saturday closest to you. Okay, next one, clean week. They just changed the date. It was supposed to come out in September and they've changed that to October 3rd for the launch week. Um, and in case you need that reminder, that is the week, the seven day kind of sneak peek week that we can offer to clients who are not completely sure they're ready to jump in with a full blown challenge pack or with a full group. 
It's a seven-day intro. They get seven days of Shakeology. Uh, Megan Davies is the creator. She is the person who won the 20s. And um, she's going to be providing clean eating meal plans for that week, workouts for that week. And then, of course, it's your opportunity to show them what coach support looks like. So figure out a way to utilize that awesome resource that is coming. All right, and we are ready now. Hold on, sweetie. Hold on. We are ready for Laura. And Laura, just so y'all know, Laura and I grew up together. I went to high school with her. We were friends for a long time prior to that. And I just saw a few years ago, I was like, hey, she's coaching too. That's so awesome. And um, she has completely taken off with her business. Obviously, you look here on her picture, all her stats. She is. She started out with the size test group in New York City, actually with Shantine. That's kind of what got her started. Um, and she was in the size infomercials. She is a size live instructor and a really good one. Um, she's a country heat live instructor. She has been a guest speaker on Shantine's podcast. She's been a guest speaker on a lot of podcasts. She's a wonderful speaker, so we're blessed to have her tonight. She's an SC10 All-Star. She signed up in June of 2015, so think about that. She's done work. Um, Two-star diamond coach. She is on the Dallas Market Council, a founder of her team, the Unstoppable Team, and she's a CEO of her own thing, Laura D. Fit. So, Laura, I am so thankful that you offered and were willing to do this, and go ahead. Take it away for us. Yay. Thank you so much, Christy. I'm so excited that you asked me because, you know, I mean, I know we're like adults now, but <laughs> back in school, for everybody who doesn't know, you guys, Christy was like, she was that girl. Like before she had bangs, before she had a ring on her finger, before she had three kids, like she was like the popular girl. So uh, it's so cool that I'm like, oh my gosh, I get to speak on Christy Booty's call. So I'm um, very, very excited to be here. Um, today, what we're going to do, well, first and foremost, raise your hand if you use Snapchat. I know Christy does and a couple of people do. Okay. Raise your hand if you use Instagram stories. Anybody? A couple of people do. Okay. And Emily, Lisa, and Dell, I believe that your computer, your camera is not on because you're naked because that's the only other reason that you would have not have it on because it's a team call and we need this interaction. We need this face to face. So the, the truth of the matter is, is that it's 2017 and social media is not going anywhere. So if you're not using Snapchat, then you need to be using Instagram stories. And if you're not using Instagram stories, you need to be using Snapchat. I use them both because I feel like they're different markets. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to get our phone out. Everybody get your handy dandy phone and we're going to take a picture and we're going to put it either on Snapchat or on Instagram stories. Um, because people want to know what we do, that what is this weird, crazy coaching thing? And what are all these boxes and what are all these faces? And don't worry, we're all going to take it at the same time. I know Christy has like, you know, eight kids and only one arm. So <laughs> I was going to wait for her to get her phone. But, uh, I actually had a girl sign up with me because she was like, I always see, you know, the people in the boxes in, in every single week. She's like, I want to be one of the people in the boxes. And the very first team call, she's like, Oh my God, that's my face. I'm on your Snapchat. I'm like, yeah, girl. So, um, everybody get your phone and we're going to take a picture. I always have the hardest time. Cause I like, I have to zoom in. Don't cover your face. Okay. Y'all ready? Is everybody to take a picture? No, Emmy, you want to take a picture? Oh, you're on your phone probably, right? Okay, that's fine. All right, ready? One, two, three. Yes, I love it. All right, and now I'm going to put um, a caption. I'm guest speaking on Christy's call. And I do that because people don't know what this is. Like people don't speak beach body. <laughs> so we gotta help them. We gotta help the people. And so here's what mine looks like. I'm guest speaking on Christy Puddy's team call. And I'll probably actually do like a little background so that people can read it. I wish you could paint the background like you could paint IG stories. But anyway, so I'll just put that on there. I love guest speaking. Okay, so then that's my little story. All right, great. 
So that's uh, number one. We haven't even gotten into it. <laughs> but that's task number one. And then number two is who all has a pen and a paper? Let me see. Because we all know smart people take notes. Let me see. She's ready. I got you. All right. Monica is ready. Very good. Monica's the only one taking notes. Everybody else is just going to. Okay. She's ready. I see you, Noemi. Nancy, Emily, we're ready. Olga got her pen. Very good. You guys, Jalene Johnson said, smart people take notes. Megan Peters is ready. I love it. You guys are a good class. This is going to be a great call. All right. Shalene Johnson makes a lot of money, and she said smart people take notes. There's a statistic out there that is 80%. We remember 80% of what we write down, and something happens in that transfusion, and it's different from when we actually type it because we're so used to typing, we're so used to texting, and that is not, it's like, it's like computerized in our minds. So we have to get used to taking notes because there is something intellectual that happens when it's a thought process in your brain and your, your mind tells your arms to actually write it out and it's your own writing. So it's so important to take notes. And if you don't take notes, you need to start. You guys, I wouldn't know what to do without this book. This is my Beachbody notebook. If you don't have a Beachbody notebook, you need to get a Beachbody notebook. And a Beachbody notebook is not something that you go in and buy it you know, on the Beachbody website. There's not a Beachbody notebook. This is something I got at Target. You can get it at Dollar General for $2. Um, and this is what I, I run my business with. I open it up and I write something down every day. And if you're like, well, Laura, I don't really have a team. I don't know what to do with it. Every single day, you need to be writing down a new YouTube training that you watched or people that you reached out to or somebody you followed up with or when your next challenge group is going to start or an email you need to be writing something down so every single day you can flip back to it and you can say hmm it looks like on the 13th I had a team call and Erica Fitlove was my guest speaker and she talked about opening up her own studio and how her dreams come true so every single day you know that you worked your business because if you're not here to work your business you might as well go be watching you know big brother reruns or something but you're here right now because you want to be and so that means you're a frontline soldier that means if you're gonna be here and you're gonna sacrifice your time you might as well get the most out of it you might as well do a hundred percent because 99 and a half won't do and you could be doing something else a hundred percent so I'm very proud of you guys for showing up. I'm very proud of you for being here. And um, I just can't wait to dive into this call. So we did our Snapchat pictures. We got our notebooks. Let me tell you, we're about to dive deep. <clears throat> Let's go. All right. So I'm going to tell you, Chrissy wanted, to, wanted me to talk to you about, um, you know, how I, how I do my challenge groups. And there's kind of a different way. Um, it just depends on how I'm feeling that month. But the topic for tonight is going to be six tips for inviting to your challenge group. Six tips to invite to your challenge group. And you'll see that, yes, this does apply to your challenge group, but also just about coaching in general, just about beach body in general, you guys, because life is made up of five parts. Life is made up of eating good, which is like meal plans and Shakeology. Life is made up of personal development, which is growing mentally and emotionally. Uh, life is made up of community, which is having, you know, accountability and the social aspect. Life is made up of being, you know, well physically, which is the working out, the exercise. And life is also made up of, you know, your, your finances, making, making your, um, you know, you can't pay the light bill with a smile. You know what I mean? Like you have to exchange that paper and paint. Money has to be in there. So those five aspects of life. And then of course, spiritually would also fit into like the personal development side, the mentally and the emotionally. Um, but life is made up of those five aspects. And guess what guys, as Beachbody coaches, we offer all five of those things. That is the secret. I'm giving you the secret right out the gates. If you're watching the recording first seven minutes, you have the secret financially with coaching physically with the working out nutritionally with Shakeology and the meal plans, which if you have Beachbody in demand, everybody knows every single workout has a meal plan. So nobody should be like, I don't know what to eat. Go look. <laughs> There's like 800 meal plans there. You can use Shift Shop. You can use Beach Bo or, you know, Body Beast. You can use Hammer and Chisel. You can use 21 Day Fix. There's a million. Um, and then there's also the accountability, which is a social aspect, which in this case is the challenge groups. And just like Chrissy said, uh, Super Saturday, if you're not going to Super Saturday, you need to. Live events change everything. 
Live, if you want to see your business explode, get to a Super Saturday. Live events will change everything. There's something different about being able to give somebody a high five and exchange that energy or like sit next to them and be like, hey, did you just hear what they said? Did you? And he's like, be able to like touch him. You know, like we need, when's the, if you're single, I'm single AF. Like I'm extra single. I can't remember the last time I hugged somebody, probably at a Super Saturday. So, so when I see somebody now walk in the room, I'm like, hey, sugar, give me a hug. I need that hug. You think you're going there for you and get that free workout. No, boo boo, you're going there for me because I need that hug. You never know what people need. So all five of those things, you guys, that is the secret to this business. We are the solution. All we have to do is figure out what people need. All you need to do, all you need to do is figure out they need one of those five things. It's either the financial, the social, the physical, the nutritional, or the mental. What is it? We have two ears and one mouth. We need to listen twice as more than we speak. And we, all you have to do is ask them, what do you need in your life right now? Oh, you're going through a breakup? Guess what? I went through a breakup too, and I didn't know how to get over it until I read this book. And when I read this book, it taught me how to get through it. And I'm really grateful and I, because I didn't start reading books until I was a Beachbody coach. Have you ever heard about Beachbody coaching? Oh, you couldn't, you know, get the kids school supplies this year? Guess what? I didn't used to either until last summer and I started beach body coaching. And now this summer I have a little bit extra $200 a month. You know, you just have to figure out those pain points and figure out what people need. I'm going all over the place. All right, let me start. So um, the very first thing for inviting is you have to know who you're inviting. You have to know who you're looking for and who your tribe is. And the way that you figure that out is you figure out who you are. And so for me, if you guys go into my Instagram and you go into my link tree, uh, like the, the, um, the website, um, then that's the website link that's in my um, Instagram bio. You'll see that there's a podcast that says rich 20 something, or you can just Google it on YouTube. It says rich 20 something Laura D podcast. And I was interviewed by this guy, his name's Daniel D Piazza. And this was in LA this year. And, uh, he's 29 years old and he's a millionaire and he's 29 and he's a millionaire. <laughs> so I'm not, you know, I'm just like, I'm a lot off from him, but it's okay because you know, everybody's got different speeds, but he interviewed me and he asked me a question, put me right on the spot. And he was like, you know, wh what's your, what's your elevator pitch? I was like, what do you mean my elevator pitch? He's like, if you were in the, you know, the elevator with somebody really important, let's just say Obama, and you had, you know, five, you had 30 seconds with him, and, and you can, you know, you have to say something more than just hello, you have to say something more than just how are you, or like nice shoes, or nice weather, whatever, you have to say something, or if he asks you who you are, what are you going to say within those 30 seconds, he was like, what is your story in five bullet points, and he's like, go, and I was like, uh, I have no idea. I had no idea. And this is embarrassing. This is like in front of my Daniel D Piazza has like almost 300,000 followers on Instagram. Like he, this is like a lot of people heard this and I had no idea. So I just started talking and thank God, like five bullet points came out. And so I was like, well, I grew up overweight or and obese. Um, uh, I lost a hundred pounds naturally. I couch surfed my way across America. I met Sean T and I filmed an infomercial. I said, and now I'm here living the dream. And here is Dallas, Texas. And I very purposely wanted to move here because uh, all my upline lives here. Um, so that's going to, that, those are my five bullet points because those are five things that happened in my life that I could, those are all like, if I was writing a book, those could, all could be like really big chapters in the book. And those uh, it's not everything. It's not like, Oh, when I was in third grade, like I fell and busted my knee and then I had to go, you know, it's not little things like that. Like these are things that happened to me that changed the course of my life. And those are five bullet points that I would feel comfortable talking to other people about and letting them know that, Hey, this is kind of what sets me apart, but this is also something that you might be able to identify with. And it's my story. And so that is something that you need to write down. You need to write down your five bullet points. And just for reference, if you need them again, um, I, my number one is I grew up overweight and obese. Number two is I lost a hundred pounds naturally. Number three is I couch surfed my way across America, which if you don't know what that means, literally I knocked on people's doors and I was like, Hey, can I sleep on your couch? And I did that all throughout Kansas, all the way down South. I was in Houston for a month, which is like very near and dear to my heart that they're underwater right now because I know all the parts of Houston. It's insane. Um, I was, I traveled all the way. I went to Alabama, Mississippi, New Orleans, Atlanta. I was in Miami for Christmas. I was in Florida for two months, went all the way up the East coast and I made it to New York city. Like I couch surfed. I chased my dreams because I knew something was out there that was greater and I didn't know what it was. That is huge. You guys, 
and that's part of my story. And when I was in New York City, I met Sean T. And he's like, hey, I'm doing this infomercial. You want to do it? And I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I did that. And then I very purposely moved here to Dallas. Like I got, I couch surfed my way again back from New York City to Kansas, got my stuff and came down here to Dallas. And I've been here for a year. Like those are my five bullet points. And those people that I'm looking for are going to identify with them. Who are your people that you're looking for? Who's going to identify with you? What are your five bullet points? You've got to know that. And you have to write this down because that's going to be one of your homework assignments. And if you thought you came on this call not to have homework, you're sadly mistaken because you did not come on this call to stay the same. There's no reason for you to get off this call and be the exact same person as you were before you came on this call. Tonight, your life is about to change. Tonight, this is where you draw the line in the sand because things have got to be different. We have to, be, we have to take a, a stand and do something different. Um, so that... It's all going to play into my six tips for inviting. So if you want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, um, I'm like a very, I'm like an organized person. I like to do like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then just fill in the blank. And I do it with two different color pens too. It's exciting to me. So my six tips for inviting, number one is, um, it's called CCQ. And I got this from Janelle Summers, CCQ. And it is comment, compliment, question. And if you guys don't know who Janelle Summers is, that's Shalene Johnson's sister. Uh, comment, compliment, question. Now, you're going to leave, you're going to uh, go to like the very first person that you see on Facebook. You're going to go to their page, uh, like when you're on your timeline, obviously somebody that you see being in your tribe, because you guys with Beachbody, since we offer the total solution, we can help everybody. Does that mean that you should help everybody? Yes, if you see them in your tribe, because there's nothing worse than helping, you know, I say this all the time, I'd rather have four quarters than a hundred pennies, because they all equal a dollar, but there's something about having that quality over that quantity, you know, so if you see somebody and you're like, yeah, I could help you, but you don't really like fit me, like maybe reach out to them, but don't really press it because people are not just points, you know, you know, and this is not just about money, because if you're doing this for money, you're doing it for, for the wrong reasons. If you're doing this for points, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. If I never got a point another day in my life, if I never got a dollar another day in my life, my life would not change. I'm a full-time beach body coach and I would still do the exact same thing every day. I would still eat right. I would still drink Shaco. I would still work out. I'd still do PD, you guys, because this is what life is made of. And I cannot believe that this is my life. I am so blessed. I get to do this every single day. Something that I would do for free. Are you kidding me? This is Jesus. Lord, this is amazing. It's after, this is why I couch surfed. I knew greatness was out there. Um, so if I go, okay. So like, comment, or not, not like, comment, obviously you want to like the picture. So what you want to do is you want to go to the Facebook page. If we're on Facebook, you could do this on Instagram. You want to see the person's picture, say that, and I'll just use Emily because I see her name right here. Say it's Emily. And Emily has a picture of her in this brown coat and she's at the pumpkin patch. And I like the picture. And then I write either a comment or a compliment underneath the picture. I say something. And so I say, oh my gosh, Emily, cute picture. Or, oh my gosh, Emily, I love that you're at the pumpkin patch. Or, oh my gosh, is it time for the pumpkin patch already? Whatever. And then, so you liked it and you said a comment or a compliment, and then you're going to send her a question and a private message. Hey, what's up, girl? How are you doing? I saw your cute brown jacket. Where did you get it? Did you get it at Burlington? Do they still have it? Was it last season? You're going to send her a question because when you send her a question, she has to answer. And not like a yes or no question, but like a question that engages her. You want to say hi. You, this, remember, you guys, this has nothing to do with Beachbody. Right now, we're just breaking the ice. We're just getting them back in. We're just, and these are only people that you see like in your tribe that you would gel with. And so you're going to do the CCQ for 10 people. You guys, if you ask 10 questions a day, hold on, let me just get out my calculator. I mean, just, I mean, I have a bachelor's degree, but let's just say you do 10 people a day and let's just say there's 30 days in a month. 10 times 30 is 300. My Lord, my Lord. Out of 300 people, do you not think at least three people are going to say yes to either a challenge pack or the coaching opportunity? What could you do if you had three new coaches every month? Let's just say you sign three new coaches every month. Three times 12, let's say there's 12 months in a year. That's 36. What would you do if you had a team of 36 new coaches every single year? 
year after year after year. And I'm not just talking about, you know, one year, cause you're not going to be here for one year and you're not going to be here for two years. Like you're going to be here, be here long enough for three years to go by, be here long enough to be a vet in the game, be here long enough to be like, Oh man, I remember when summit was all the way back in Indiana and in 2018. Can you remember that? Be here long enough for that. Be a veteran coach. 36 new people, you guys. Let's just say, just because I like to play with numbers, let's say you reached out to 10 new people and asked them questions every single day. So it's 10 people times 30. That's 300 people time a month times 12 months. That's 3,600 people. 3,600 people. Are you joking me? 3,600 people. Raise your hand if you've hit Success Club this month. Let me see. Who hit Success Club? One, two. We got two people who hit Success Club. Three people. High five to you. Go Christy, go Monica, and go Olga. I'll, and go um, Ellie Berger, or whatever your name is. I'm not sure. I don't know what it says. <laughs> Very proud of you. But you guys, there's no reason. There's no reason that you can't hit Success Club. If you didn't want to hit Success Club, you wouldn't be here on this call. I guarantee you, you didn't hit this. You didn't come to this call because you didn't have anything else to do right now. You could be doing a ton of other things. You could be cross-stitching. You could be sleeping. You could be painting your toenails. You could be painting your dog's toenails. You know what I mean? Like there's things to do besides sitting here and looking at me with my hair that I did not brush today. But you're here for a reason. And I'm trying to teach you about the people that need your help. And you already know what they need because I already told you the five things that this consists of. You already know who you're looking for because you already know that's your homework, the five, your five bullet point elevator speech. And you already know that there is people out there who are hurting and, and hopeless and helpless. And guess what? We are the hope. We are the ones that deliver the hope, you guys. It's not a lack of people. It's a lack of workers. And we are not going to be the lack of workers. This is, where the, this is where the line in the sand gets drawn. That it starts tonight. It starts tomorrow. That there's no more of not reaching out. Somebody needs your help. Because guess what? When I was couch surfing and I was so lost and I hated my job in Kansas, I had a friend who was a top 10 coach right now. She's in the top 10 this year and she was in the top 10 last year. And she and I used to exchange uh, photos on Instagram. We would shout each other out. And I asked her, Finally, because I, I was just so upset when I found out that she did Beachbody. And when I found out that this was, I mean, you guys, it saved my life. I had nothing. I had nothing. And, and, and the girl at the front desk, she, um, she drank Shakeology for two years. And I was like, why would you never tell me about Shakeology? This company completely gave me a life when I had nothing. So I finally asked the top 10 coach. I'm like, why did you never ask me or invite me? And you know what she said? She was like, I thought you would say no. You What? I'm like, you see my stats. You see what I did. You thought I would say no. If you thought I was going to say no, let me say no with my mouth. And even if I did say no, you better ask me a second time. And even if I said no a second time, you better ask me a third time because there's a statistic that says people are going to say no seven to eight times. So guess what? If they say no seven to eight times, that means you check them on in March and you check them in April and you check them again and invite them again to your open house and invite them again to clean week and invite them again to your free group and invite them again to your book club and whatever you're doing and by the end of seven months they're finally going to be like you know i'm blocking your number quit calling me or they're going to see how much your life has changed because if you're doing the four vital behaviors every single day you are not going to be the same person in in december as you were in january and your life is going to change and you're going to have a transformation and they're going to come up to you and they're going to be like what are you doing olga i need to be part of your life what are you doing that you have changed so amazingly I need to understand what this is, you guys. Like I said, 99 and a half won't do. If you're going to do this, go all the way, baby. Bleed, Beachbody Blue. Like, you guys, this crazy, crazy opportunities in this company. All we have to do is just take them. All we have to do is just walk in them. Corporate is, like, sick of saying the same names over and over again. They're waiting for somebody to rise up. They're waiting to, to look for somebody. They're like, who can we have on the national wake-up call? Oh, man, did you hear about that girl, Jill Smith? Jill Smith? Yes, we're going to have Jill Smith on the national wake-up call because she's a new and upper-comer. Like, they're waiting for that. They're craving new names. So if you think you can't do it, yes, you can. They're waiting on you to walk into your greatness. And you have greatness on the inside of you. Don't think for one second that you do, that you don't because you do. All right, so point number two, that was number one. Um, so you're going to do the CCQ, um, and that's just for 10 people. And number two, I kind of already said it. Number two is uh, just say hi. Don't say anything about Beachbody. This is how we get, you know, because it's kind of salesy and kind of gross. You guys, like, there's actually a meme that is floating around where it's like, friend I haven't talked to in four years, and they say hi. And then it says, uh, it says, 
me says, I feel like this is a scam. And then it says, friend, I haven't talked to in four years. Have you heard about Beachbody? <laughs> so it's, you guys, I feel like we kind of saturated the market with that. And, and remember, the people that you're saying hi to are people that you would actually want to connect with if you never had a product. These are people that you would actually want to be friends with and hang out with, even if you didn't have anything to sell them. This is your tribe. That's why it's so important to know who you're looking for and who you are. Um, so just say hi. Don't say anything about Beachbody. Number three, what I do every month is I know there's my coaches, and I bet some of y'all too, if I tell them to do something or if I ask them to say hi to 10 people and they're like, yeah, okay, whatever, we'll do it. And they don't do it. So guess what? By the 10th of every month, we reach out to 10 people and we do it as a team. And then we take a screenshot and we post it in the group. And so I say, all right, guys, it's 10 by the 10th. Make sure you say hi to 10 people. And all I want you to do is say hi. So if you have coaches underneath you who are not working, just tell them to post a screenshot in the group. So what we do is 10 by the 10th, and I'm like, hi, Emily, hi, Del, hi, Lisa, hi, Megan. And I say, like, whatever, I comment and question about whatever picture they just recently posted on their profile because that's what they're going on in their life. That's, I'm showing interest in their life. Remember, as a Beachbody coach, you don't have to be interesting. You just have to be interested. You don't have to have all the bells and whistles, and you don't have to have all the piercings and the tattoos and the pink hair and whatever. You just have to be interested in who that person is. And if you're not interested in them, move along. That, that's not for you. I'll oh, shoot. I'll get them, you know, whatever. Somebody else will get them. Go find your tribe. Like, you know, don't waste your time on these people. So praise the Lord. So we're going to go ahead and post a screenshot of 10 people because guess what? When you post a screenshot, Nancy, Monica's going to see that and be like, Oh my God, Nancy's working this business. I want to work the business too. And then Chrissy's going to be like, Oh my gosh, Monica said this, like maybe that will work for me. And then Noemi's going to be like, Oh, I want to do that because Chrissy's doing that. And now all of a sudden you have this new fire going on. So you guys are, we're in like this friendly competition and you see the team together is working. And all of a sudden now we've got 40 people as a whole that we reached out to. And our team could have the possibility exponentially to grow by 40. And when you start thinking like that and you're like, oh my God, our team is going to grow by 40. And you're like, we have the best team ever. And you start telling people, we have the best team ever. We have the best team ever. And you start smiling and they can hear your smile, you guys. They can hear your smile. I don't know if you guys ever do a little voice notes, but you do the voice notes on Messenger and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. They can't see you, but they can see your smile. And that comes from being happy and that comes from action and that comes from working. I'm telling you guys, this works. Like I do this. People are like, what drug are you on? I'm like, beach body. <laughs> you know, like it's nine o'clock at night. I don't even have any energize in me, but I get so excited about doing this because I think about changing people's lives. I think about you changing your life, being like the best coach that you can be. All right. So that's number three is to post a screenshot in the coaches group. Number four is you're going to invite them to a challenge group. And if you're going to invite them to a challenge group, you know what that means. That means you got to run a challenge group. <laughs> that means you have to run a challenge group, boo-boo. And if you've never run a challenge group before, guess what? We've already determined that this is where the, the line in the sand gets drawn. We've already determined that you're going to be a new coach after tonight. We've already determined that things are going to change starting tomorrow because you have goals and you're not going to hit your goals by not running challenge groups. You're a coach and that's what this business is founded on, running a challenge group. Like we have to have a, a way to plug people in. We have to have a way to, to check in on them. We have to have a way to encourage them and see if they're actually using the product. And like, oh, you got Beachbody on demand four months ago and you haven't even opened it up. How come? But you guys, we're not doing our due diligence as a coach if we don't have a challenge group for them to get plugged into. So you have to invite them to your challenge group. If you don't know how to, how to run a challenge group, ask your success partner. If you don't have a success partner, ask your coach. If you're, you don't run a challenge group with your coach, ask your coach's coach. You guys, there's so much out here for you. And I know Christy is an amazing coach. I know she has the tools and the resources for you. And I know that she's got these trainings for you to plug into. All you have to do is ask her. All you have to do is just show up. All you have to do is use them. And guess what? Even if she doesn't, which I know she does, YouTube has everything. Scotty Hobbs, Lindsay Matway, Melanie Mitro, everything that you want to accomplish in this business is right there on YouTube. So something that we say in our, in our team all the time that my coach says with a loving heart, she says, uh, she says, <laughs> I don't want to say it cause I know I feel bad cause we just pray. She says, fact you, which is F A Q <laughs> like frequently asked questions. She's like, Oh, ask me a question again. Fact you like check it out yourself. Frequently asked questions yourself. So, or she says GTS, which is Google that ish. 
So those are loving things that we say all the time. So, you know, whatever you want to do with this business, you don't need somebody to tell you what to do. You don't need somebody to post a 10 by the 10th. Does it help? Yeah, it helps. But take the initiative. Be that person that's like, hmm, I wonder what's in the back office today. Hmm, I wonder what this national wake-up call so sounds like from 2016 before I was a coach. Have you listened to every single call in reverse? Have you done every single thing? Have you read every single book? Have you commented and liked every single time your coach posted in the group? If not, then let's be honest, you could be doing a little bit more. And maybe if you did a little bit more, you would hit success club. Or maybe if you did a little bit more, you could earn a couple extra trip dollars to Riviera Maya. Or maybe if you did a little bit more, then you would know what to say back to that person because you had a conversation with another coach at Summit because you showed up to Summit or Super Saturday. You know what I mean? Like you just, you never know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. But one thing I can guarantee is that if you don't show up, nothing's going to happen. It's not going to happen. You have to show up for your dreams. You have to be there because you don't know what's going to happen in the process. And I'm, I, I don't, I don't want to be left out of anything. You guys, I was left out of everything. I was the last to get picked for everything. You know, <laughs> like I don't want to be that person anymore. So I'm going to show up just because I'm nosy. I'm like, I don't know what y'all are talking about, but I want to be there. So that's number four is invite to the challenge group. Now, these people that you're inviting to the challenge group, these are the same people that you just said hello to on the 10 by the 10 because you've already warmed them up. You already told Lisa Ann how cute her jacket was. So now you're going to go back and be like, hey, what's up? Da, 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 just checking back in with you. I have this new challenge group. I was thinking about you because we just had a conversation 10 days ago. I have this challenge group. Do you want to do it? If she says no, guess what? You should be really excited. Like, yes, that means you said no to me. That means you only have six more times for me to ask you before you say yes. You know, and you should be tracking them, which means either in your Beachbody notebook or on Excel or on Google Drive or in your phone, there's got to be a tracking system. And if you don't have a tracking system, you have a to-do list. Right now, you need to write that down. Start a tracking system. Because if you're not following up with these people, what are you doing? You're making it easier for me because you're planting the seeds and you're growing the water. And guess what? I'm going to get the harvest because you're not following up with them. Like, what are you doing? Why would you ever even start that conversation and not go get your harvest? Go get what's yours. That's your harvest. Go get your people. You know what I mean? So after they do your challenge group, then number five is you're going to open, you're going to invite them to an open house or a sneak peek. And you're going to invite them to an open house or a sneak peek because everybody needs to know about coaching. And if you don't do open houses and you don't do sneak peeks, ask your success partner. If you don't have a success partner, ask your upline. And if you don't have an upline, guess what? GTS FAQ. <laughs> I'm telling you, you have to do this because if you just have three people in there and you do it every single month, it's going to change everything. I mean, what if you guys all got together? Like my success partner, she's a crazy cat lady with purple hair. Her name's Amanda Panino. She's so cute. We did them. And like the very first month, you guys, we suck. Nobody knows how to, how to do this. Nobody comes into the business knowing know how, to, how to do everything. But if you don't try, then you're never going to know. If you've been a coach for three years and you've never done a sneak peek, guess what? The time to start is three years ago because you would be three years in. But guess what? The second best time to start is tomorrow is next month, is next week. You have to start doing things that scare you because that's the only way you're going to learn. And if you don't, then you're never going to learn and you're always just going to be scared. And guess what? If you're scared, do it scared. Do it anyway and just be scared when you do it. Like, you're not going to die. <laughs> Here lies Laura, cause of death, scaredy cat. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, <laughs> it's not even a thing. So just do it anyway. Um, so it's important because you grow as a person and like a lot of times people think that like, just like I said about Super Saturday, oh God, sorry, I just dropped that, but I couldn't get it because I have nails. So a lot of times people think that um, they're, they're showing up to the open house for them and on the surface, yeah, it's for them, but guess what? Really deep down on the inside, it's for you. You grow as a person. Now I do sneak peeks and open houses like that. Like I'm not scared of anything. I know exactly what to say. I know the flow, but you never find that flow if you never do them. So these same 10 people, it's like a funnel system. First you say hi to them and then you invite them to your free group and then you invite them to your challenge, your paid group, and then you invite them to coaching open house and maybe they're just a discount coach and then next thing you know, they're your next diamond coach and next thing you know, you're a one-star diamond and the next thing you know, you're in LA for free at the new leader conference. Oh my God. And it all started just with telling her how cute her freaking jacket was. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's the domino effect. So we got to start that domino effect. That's what we have to do. Number six, this is number six. Number six is you have to follow up. 
and I already said this before, people, they're a statistic. Number six is you have to follow up. People are going to say no seven to eight times before they say yes. They're going to say no. So if they say no, there's a book that I need you to read. It's called Go for No. Go for No. It takes the emotion out of it. You guys, when I first started and somebody would say no to me, I was like, are you kidding me? what I, I don't you, I don't have cute eyebrows or what like you're gonna say no to me you don't like me like my feelings were hurt I was like, <laughs> they said no to me I'm a bad coach I don't know what's wrong no they said no it has nothing to do with you like you say no like okay that's cool I was looking for you to say no anyway you know I, I want 10 people to say no because that means I'm gonna be one step closer to a yes and that's also another thing you guys, a little bit of this is statistics and it's, and it's a numbers game. So if you are counting and you say, okay, this month it took me 14 people to say no. And so I got the 15th one is a yes. Well, guess what? Then you know, if your goal is to sell two challenge tracks, you probably need to do that same process because success leaves clues. You need to talk to another 14 people because that second 15th person, that 30th person, they're going to say yes. And if you want to sell three challenge packs, you need to talk to another 14 people so that that third 15th person says yes. If, every, if your sweet spot is every 15 person, people, it's just reverse engineering. So if your goal is to, is, you know, you can reverse engineer every single person. But I don't know because, you know, legit everybody is different. The way I talk is going to be different from the way that you talk. And your outreach might be different from my outreach. And your tribe is going to be different from my tribe. So it might take me 80 people before one person says yes. But in the process of doing the 80 people, I learn how to overcome objections. And so maybe next month, it's only going to take me 70 people. And maybe the month, you know, the next month after that, it's only going to take me 60 people. But in the process, you guys, you become a different person and you learn about yourself and then the, you can help other people learn about themselves. It's, it's a beautiful thing. So number one is CCQ, comment, compliment, question. And of course, the, com the question is in a private message. You want to private message them. You don't want to have an entire conversation over Facebook. Nobody's trying to see that. Everybody else who comments on the picture gets annoyed. You turn off the notifications. You're that girl. Don't be that girl. Number two is remember, just say hi. Don't say anything about Beachbody. Number three is you don't have to do the 10 by the 10th, but whatever you're doing, that is helping you, you have to post at least once a month, post a screenshot in the coaches group because we're all in this together. And maybe you're not where you wanna be and somebody can help tweak you or maybe somebody else in, their, in your coaches group is not where they wanna be, but you can tweak them. And so if you're posting something in the coaches group and you post a screenshot of actual working the business, it's gonna, it's gonna change because it's gonna change the environment, it's gonna change the flow and you're gonna feel, you're gonna wanna reach out to more people because you're feeling like, oh, I have to do this because now my team's watching me and, and, and I can help them be productive. Um, number four is you're gonna invite them to challenge groups. Number five is you're gonna invite them to the open house or the sneak peek. Number six is follow up with people because they say no some day times. And um, I do have some homework for you. You guys already know that the very first, uh, roll, write these three down. I have three homework assignments for you. I have three homework assignments for you. Because you guys already know the first one is you have to find out your 30 second elevator pitch. You have to do that. You have to find out your, your story in five bullet points. I went over mine at the beginning of this call. Because if somebody asks you, you have to know who you are and you have to know who, what you offer and what you're looking for. Um, so that's number one of your homework. Um, number two is I want you to listen to the 10X rule on Audible. Raise your hand. Who listens to Audible? Anybody? Oh, pretty much everybody. Okay. I'm not mad at you. Good job. So you listen to Audible. You guys, Grant Cardone, he's from Louisiana. He is amazing. <laughs> You cannot capture his accent in a book. Like he is, he is so phenomenal. And there's something about his energy. When you listen, to, when you listen to him on Audible, you're just, you feel like you're right there in the room with him. And uh, you, you have to listen to him because he makes you want to do things more. And the 10 X rule is about doing a little bit more. And we talked about this earlier. Like, you know, you could comment a little more, you know, you could run challenge groups a little bit more, you know, you could do personal development a little bit more. Whatever you're struggling with right now in your business, let's be honest, we could all do a little bit more. 
And even if we're doing 100%, we can give 120%. That is what the 10X looks like because you're only going to get out what you put in. People in this business, they complain all the time. They're looking for this and they're looking for this and, and they don't understand why this isn't happening. And it's like they want this big harvest of apples, but you ask them, well, did you plant any apple seeds? And they're like, well, no. Well, what do you mean? Like, how, how can you go out back and expect an apple tree when you didn't plant any apple seeds? So whatever you are lacking in this business, you have to ask yourself, what type of harvest are you receiving for the seeds that you're planting? And if you don't have any seeds planted in the ground, you got to plant them. And maybe you are planting seeds, but it's not, in, it's not in good ground. You have to find the right soil, which is why it's so important to know who your tribe is so that they're getting accepted and, and depositing into the right people so that you can cultivate them and grow them. So... Um, you guys, if you show up every day, if you read a book every day, if you drink your shake every day, if you come to the coach calls, if you, if you, if you talk to Christy, if you guys help each other out, if you reach out to 10 people every day, if you listen to the 10X rule every single day, I guarantee who you are today is going to be completely different from who you will be on September 29th, a month from now. There's no way that your life can stay the same. There's no way, and, and it shouldn't stay the same. You should continually be a brand new person. I guarantee it. That's a Laura D guarantee. <laughs> I guarantee you will be a completely different person. So when you do that, people are going to be attracted to you. They're going to want to know what is going on and what's different about you. So your homework is I need you. I absolutely need you to find out your 30-second elevator pitch. Number two is your... Um, you're going to listen to the 10X rule on Audible. And then number three is I want you to write down um, what you're going to change. And when you, when this call is over, I want you to post it in the coaches group and, and tag Christy and tell her like, Christy, I'm going to change this. Christy, I haven't been drinking my shake every day, but I'm going to, or Christy, I've never listened to, to 10 extra on audible, but I'm going to Christy. I haven't been whatever you, whatever, you know, you need to change like to tweak don't like quit thinking about it. Quit putting it on your to-do list and just do it and tell Christy because that's accountability and everybody else is going to see it too. And when you get it out there and you put it out into the universe, you're like, okay, I, I feel free because it's off my chest and I don't have anxiety about it anymore. Or maybe it's meal prep. I'm going to meal prep. You guys, we have to be a product of the product. We have to show people that it works. We have to help people with their meal prep, you know, because that's, that's what we do. We're coaches and you can still be on your journey. Not everything is going to be a physical transformation. You can have a mental transformation. You can have a financial transformation. But as long as you're continually transforming, you guys, as long as you're continually growing, because what's not growing is dying. And that's a really scary, blunt way to look at it, but it's the truth. And sometimes we just need that wake-up call. So definitely tell Christy what you're going to change so it's out there in front of God and everybody because, you know, once it's out there, then we give it life. But, yeah, I just want to let everybody know that you're here for a reason. You'll, you are called for a purpose. And God loves you. Don't forget it. That's all I got, y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. You're welcome. Sorry, I went a little bit longer than I than I expected it to. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Um, we typically go until about ten, so you are fine. Oh, all good, right. perfect. Yeah, yeah. If anybody has questions, are you okay taking a few questions? Yeah, let me know. Okay. You guys feel free to unmute or type in the chat box if you have any questions for her. I know I one of the people that couldn't be on the call asked me about if you run free groups. Um, I don't run free groups uh, because when I do my challenge groups, I just let everybody in. <laughs> um, because I do my challenge group, I have an accountability group on Facebook. And that's only for my paid customer. Like you, I have to be your coach and I make them send me a screenshot um, in the back office that says, you know, cause I have a different, a little bit of a different outreach. So it's hard to manage all those people, but the people on the challenge tracker app, I just, I have them fill out the link tree in my bio and I just copy and paste everybody's name. Um, and I just let them in because my, my theory is that eventually they'll see the value. And then I always talk about my Facebook group, which, really isn't everything. It's, it's not really anything. I post in there every day, but it's nothing special. It's just my, the same workout I post on Instagram. Um, but I, you, you can't be in that unless you pay. So, or unless you're at least a customer, like a free customer underneath me. So, um, 
for the screenshot, what exactly should we screenshot? Like the inbox? Yeah. So when I do that, I literally go to the first 10 people I see on my Facebook page or like on my Instagram and I will send them like, I try not to do Hey Girl anymore because that's like super played out, but I use their name. Like I'll say, Hey Noemi Boo, or I'll say, What's up, Olga Sugar? Like I, you know, I talk like that. Um, but I do that and you'll, you'll see the 10 conversations and we, my entire team does it and you see the first 10. Um, because that's, that's included in, in your power hour, you know? So, and it takes 10 minutes. It takes 10 minutes to just do like back to back to back to back. So those should be the first 10 conversations that you see, um, you know, in your inbox. So. Okay. And you do that every day for the first 10 days of the month? Um, I make my, I want them to do it. Like, you know, I tell them, encourage them to do it individually. Uh, but we do it to collectively as a team on the tent. So at least I have, and I always make sure I have like 10 coaches who do it. So I, at least I know 10 coaches have reached out to 10 people. So a hundred seeds have been planted that day. So, um, and it's just saying hi. And I had a girl who was so fearful. She's like, I can't do it. And I was like, you can't do, I was like, you can't say hi to somebody. She's like, I just, I don't know. And so it's interesting to see like where people where they are because it's like now all of a sudden you have this product to offer and you don't want to be salesy. You are the, nobody knows you have a product to offer. Nobody knows you're a beach body coach unless you tell them you're the exact same person, you know, cause even if I wasn't a beach body coach, I would still say hi. I would still say that's a cute, like, don't be fake. People know when you're fake. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if you wouldn't say that, if you weren't a beach body coach, like if you think they have an ugly baby, but you're just saying they have a cute baby cause you're a beach body coach, like don't do that. <laughs> So just make sure it's, it's a real compliment and that's how you real, really feel. So anybody else? Okay. Well, I'm sure that she is fine. If you guys think of any questions, send them to me and I will pass along and I'll share responses. Um, but thank you so much, Laura. You're awesome. Yes. Thank you very much for letting me come on. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, our next call. Oh, I put it on my. Let me see here. I got to look real quick. Oh, I just saw one come up. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> everybody's thanking you. Next call is September 12th at 9 p.m. Okay. All right. Thank you, Laura. I hope you guys have a good night and we will talk to you later. See ya. Bye. Bye.